Hello, you probably saw the title of this video and wondered what the heck is going on. Nippy is all about peace, love and llamas and now she's going about killing deadly scare bears? What's happened? Well, let me tell you, it's all the fault of two individuals on this server. Number one, my environmentally challenged landlord and number two, the instigator of server-wide mayhem. If you missed the last episode, I now have to pay rent for the Llama Center because Dark John claims I built on his land. As if, but what can I do? If I can't find the diamonds, he will close the center. So when GGJ announced that there will be a massive minigame on the whole server, I was immediately interested. Because look at this, apparently you can win tons of diamonds in the head games. So if I become the top igniter headhunter, that will solve my rent crisis for a very long time and all the llamas would be safe. The rules for the head games are pretty simple. Everyone who enters has from Monday to Friday to collect as many heads from this board as possible. You cannot use farms and you can only enter two player heads. And all the heads have different values. Look, player heads are 250 points. The tournament goes over several weeks and we have a simple bracket system. So each week you compete with one other player and at the end of the week the winner moves on to the next round. Simple. Of course, there's one obvious problem here. I'm pretty pants at all that fighty stuff, so... But then again, it's free to enter, so I mean, I've got nothing to lose, right? I think it's time to pretend to be Deadly Dippy Blether. So let's see, we are facing off against... Uh-oh, Skunk Monkey. Yeah, <laughs> okay. He is a very seasoned player and he's probably pretty good at PvE, so... Uh, yeah, um... Now... Player heads have the highest value and um, Need Freeze and Blackie and I immediately came up with a way to get 500 points each without having to fight anyone. Respawn points. Okay, set. so... Hello, hello, Dragon Queen. Come over, come over here for a moment. Hello. Okay, so our evil plan. Let's, let's explain our evil plan to our not-so-evil audience, okay? So... We know we can get up to two player heads for 250 points each. Uh-huh. Now, mm -hmm. why should mm -hmm. we go and hunt people who don't want to be killed? We just have a murder pact here. Because we want to keep this as 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 ethically clean as possible. Is that correct? Absolutely. And yes. also easy. And yes. also easy. So so yeah. you've said I mean that gives us that gives us two point and two two player heads each okay we're not gonna play this game evil we're gonna play this game smart that's it all for the llamas by the way all for Absolutely. the llamas okay yeah. okay Go right for okay it. Who, who's first who's first me okay, okay. right this is uh my 49 levels oh okay right that's one blacky head okay and a, and a bit of green stuff oh and another blacky head you want to be killed need freeze or Want to be killed yes. by somebody else? Uh, no, I don't care. There we go. One need freeze head. Okay, I have two heads. Okay, now I'm going to put my axe away. Okay. Okay, okay. Right. so one more need freeze head for you. Up uh, and up, uh, up. Uh, there we go. Ooh, okay, dippy done. head. <laughs> A murder party. We're having a wow, murder party. Wow, he's really on a roll. Okay, he's on a okay. roll. Okay. I Nitri's, also want yeah, to have yeah, the Yeah, that need three. Yeah. Up. Oh, okay. Bingo. That's 500 points in the bag. Now we just need some mob heads and we need some high scoring ones. We checked what the drop rates for each head are. And it turns out some heads drop a lot more often than others. The warden drops a head for every single kill. And they're worth 100 points. So, well, I mean, we have to kill wardens, right? But wardens are pretty hard to kill. Or are they? Hmm. Luckily, in the last episode, Blackie found an ancient city. And we have pacified it. So, let's see what we can do there. We had a good look around. And although the city is safe now, there are a few shriekers left in caves near the city. So when we discovered this beauty up here in the ceiling above the portal, we knew we were onto a winner. And now we have a plan. Watch this. We knocked a hole in the ceiling here and placed some trapdoors around the edges. 
So now the big guy will get fooled into ambling to his doom. We simply shoot this bell here and then it triggers the sensors and that calls the warden. And then the warden wanders about going, what the heck is going on? I think we have got everything in the right place. If not, we have a big problem. <laughs> it looks like it's in the right place, right? It does. So okay, I'm getting into... I'm going to get onto... My pillar of doom. Right, let's do this. Ah, oh, he is coming! He's coming! But will he, will he pass fine towards us? I'm going to shoot on the other side. Is he coming? Yes! Something's up. Oh no, he's on the... Okay, let's shoot. He can shoot. Oh yes, we've got him! Oh, this is so cool. And I'm not using replay. Oh no. He can do whatever he likes. He's just going to be shot to death, right? Oh my god, this is so exciting. We did it. I thought for a moment he was going to walk out. Yay, we got him! Okay, let's check if we've we got ahead. It. Let's check if we've got ahead. We got a head! Hey. We've got a warden head! Yay! Oh my god, this is our first head! Oh my god, this is so good! Oh, this works, okay. And with two of us shooting at this guy, it is just ridiculously easy. Well, I mean... Mostly ridiculously easy. Come on, bad boy. Come to the hole. Come to the hole. You want to go this way? Yay! Oh my god! Oh no, he's on the fence! Oh dear. Oh no! He's coming for you! <laughs> he is. Well, I'm gonna die. stuck in the water so now that that's fixed we actually killed 20 wardens in less than two hours and that includes building this trap i tell you what teamwork definitely makes the dream work lucky and i have split the heads between us because we're not actually competing against each other in this round we have been very successful <laughs> there we are that's a very respectable 1,500 points. Okay, um, I'm quite pleased with that, but is it enough? Mm, I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, hey, look what I found. <laughs> okay, he dropped ahead. Sorry, guys. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm sorry, I have taken your boss away. You are free llamas now. Go! Okay, well, make that... 1,503 points. And now we need to wait for results day. Oh, hello. Hey, look who's here, skunk monkey. Hello. Hello. <laughs> What's up? What's up? I lost. What? What? Yeah, you beat me. No. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, you did. He removed my little area. It's gone. That's true. Uh -huh. Is Blacky still here? <gasps> yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blackie, Blackie. You guys crushed it, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a shocker. I can't believe that Blacky and I survived the first round. But, I mean, Star M, that's a tough cookie. Star is a really great Minecrafter, and he's a pretty fierce fighter or so, I've heard. So we'll just have to try and do our best. And, um, yeah, you find out how it went in the next episode. So, shameless plug here, if you don't want to miss the next episode, why not hit that subscribe button? I hope you have a hippy-dippy day, and it's bye-bye from Dippy!